Hello everybody, welcome to Grave Mobile Gaming. I am Grave. We are playing some Crossfire Warzone again today. I wanted to do a little episode on enhancers and the best way to get them for free. If you're free to play to player, uh, enhancers can be very hard and very tricky to obtain. And even worse, it's harder to rank high in enhancer events. Because a lot of people are going to spend a lot of money on the store for enhancers. If you can buy some, wait till they're on sale uh, via server invasion or happy holiday bundles. I would buy those. However, I wouldn't necessarily buy them at regular store day market prices. They're just too expensive. But this is the best way to get them for free. And that is to save up as many corpse points as you can. I have like 39, uh, which they just recently lowered the cost per attack on a corpse by yourself. It was three, now it's two, the same as a rally. So you don't have to rally to get to use less points, which is really, really nice. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you want to be able to find the highest level you can attack and farm that base over and over and over and over and over again until it's out of resources and then you attack another one. Don't keep attacking all of them, because that's just wasting troops. So take out the largest one you can. I could take out a 29. I could probably take a 30 out by myself. Logistically, not really worth it. Uh, 28s and 29s give about the same amount of resources, so you're not getting a huge bonus for going against a 30 versus a 28. I'll probably do this 28 and then do a 29. But a 28 is going to drop you 5, 7, 5. Between 5 and 7 blue enhancers per attack, which isn't too bad. I'm hoping to come out of this with around 5 or 600. It just takes a little time. Make sure that when you do attack, you're not using your weaker marches, per se. You want to use your best marches. And that's only because the, the best march you have is usually the higher levels, and they're usually legendaries. And they can hold more. They can collect more resources per attack. If you're sending your weaker units in, you're wasting corpse points, and you're only getting you're getting less resources. So when I go to attack, in this top left hand corner you'll see this little hammer. That little hammer signifies how much plunder you can take. 416,513 resources. And it's usually broken down into mostly food, a little bit more less steel, a little bit less cash. So I want to demonstrate this is my biggest march at 416,000. So we attack once. We'll go in and we'll look. We get 142,000 food, 23,000 steel, 5,000, almost 6,000 cash. So if I go back and I re attack with my weakest march, that only has 197,000. you will see that I was only able to pull 67,000 food, 11,000 steel, and 2,800 cash. So you don't want to waste corpse points with attacking with your lower levels heroes. Use your best ones to save you points and to get you more resources along with um, enhancers as well. A lot of people want to just do it all quick so they'll send off war marches times three, get all the corpse points done. But you're hurting yourself. You want to get the maximum amount of resources. It takes a little bit longer, but it's worth it in the end. Crap, need points. So I attack only with just my two main marches just to get enough 
we get the most amount of resources per hit. And I'll keep doing this over and over and over until it's out of resources, and then I'll attack another one. I don't attack them all, because like I said, I can, but that usually just costs me uh, troops that it's not really necessary. Unless they're doing an event where actual killing of corpse gets you a certain amount of points, not just spending corpse for stamina, because there's two different events. you got events, for example, the Alliance Festival, you got to get a certain amount of kills. Versus the event of this one. Sorry, hold on. Do, do, do. Stamina. This is corpse for stamina. Wrong one. Corpse points. You get rewards just for using points. It doesn't matter who you attack, what level, how many you kill. It's just using your corpse points. Versus if you go into a lion's festival, got to kill 1900 points worth of scavenger corpse so there's different types of points you can obtain so make sure that when you're not on a mission to where you need a bunch of scavenger points don't focus on killing all of them it's just a waste of troops really just farm one at a time attack the highest you can at a time farm that one completely and then move on to the next uh, that'll guarantee your best amount of resources the most amount of enhancers and also it'll save you a lot of troops plus you want to have some troops defending your base because they're going to attack you all the time they're going to be they're going to be mad at you see it just said that there's no more resources at this base so we are going to move on to another one Let's attack this guy right here Now, if you lose the first battle, which against the 28, I probably will. 29, I will. But you can attack again, and it's still weak from the last attack, so it went down a lot more farther that time. I'll get it with this attack. Plus, the more you attack, the more different bases you attack, I'm sorry, your heroes are going to die more. Which the cost to uh, heal them is going to be really piling up on you. So you don't want your heroes to die very often. At least as much as possible. Because those healing costs add up after a while. Oops, wrong button. So again, to break down, when you're doing enhancers and you're a free-to-play player, enhancers are really good. So you want to go for the strongest base and work on that one. Don't overwhelm yourself by attacking all of them. Unless you have a specific event for that. To minimize your troop loss and your hero healing cost, make sure that you're using units that have the highest a collection rate or the plunder capacity for them, which is designated by the little hammer at the top. Wrong button, sorry. Up in the top hand, top left hand corner next to the power, you'll see the little pickaxe that should collect capacity. So make sure you're using that the highest possible. And just uh, keep farming the same ones over and over again. That'll ensure, like I said, troop loss, healing loss, all that good stuff. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, if you can't beat, if you're like level 25 and like you're trying to beat a 26 and you lost the first couple rounds, just hit it a couple more times, get it done. It will die eventually. You will you will lose uh, quite a few units, but that's okay. It's not, the loss rate for attacking corpse is not the same as if you were doing PvP. So you're not losing as many troops. Uh, so let me show you. I can find the actual one that I actually attacked. To go into details and battle reports, always look at your battle reports to show you. So like I lost two thousand seven hundred uh, two thousand seventeen infantry, but I only lost really one hundred nine. 
had this been had I attacked a, a PvP player and lost 2017 infantry, I would have lost more about 300 ish. So uh, their troop survive troop survivability rate is higher when attacking uh, NPCs, pretty much. But they still die, so just be careful about that. Um, so that should about cover it for enhancers. Um, they're a pain in the butt, even for me. Like, I'll buy some here and there. I'll buy quite a bit. I ain't gonna lie. Um, but this is by far the best way to achieve maximum enhancers if you're playing free-to-play. So I've already collected about 189, which is not too bad. I'm not done yet. Corpse points are very hard to get. They're very rare. And the... Like, the time it takes to uh, regenerate one point is, like, 20 minutes, I think. So it takes a while for them to regenerate. Um, attacking terrorists will help you get corpse points. Um, it's not as easy as getting food or uh, officer enhancement books. But you will get them occasionally. So if you have plenty of stamina, hit tons of terrorists, save you up some corpse points, come out here, find the highest level target you feel comfortable attacking, Attack that one, wait till it's completely dead, and farm it. Use your best players for your best collection rating, and then repeat. Don't stress yourself out with units and, and attacking all the other bases. Just focus on the ones you can. Um, I wouldn't necessarily teleport inside like I do, because if a alliance that doesn't like you comes in, you're not going to be able to bubble. You're just going to have to sit there and take it or move quickly. Um, which happens to me a lot, but I'm okay with it. And then, like I said, it's a lot cheaper now to do it by yourself. It went from three corpse points for one attack to two, which is awesome, so that helps a lot too. So, Anyway, this was my video on attaining enhancers, easiest free way. Um, I hope this video helps somebody. Uh, if you like my videos, please like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be back with some more videos. Thanks, everybody. Grave out.